Gravitational effect of those planets. 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 Well, today, we're going to learn about the complicated system that provides vital support to the astronauts during an extravehicular activity, also known as a spacewalk. That's ahead, but first, here's what's happening at NASA now. The crew of Expedition 31 on the International Space Station has a special member who is an astronaut and science and math teacher. Flight engineer Joe Acaba returns to space for an extended stay aboard the International Space Station. Before his current mission, Joe flew aboard Discovery during the STS-119 mission. While docked with the ISS, Joe stepped outside the station to conduct critical spacewalking tasks. Today's modern spacesuit is an amazing piece of equipment with technology that provides many vital functions. To help us understand the mechanics of the Portable Life Support System, or PLIS, is Antia Chambers, who works at the Johnson Space Center. Hello, Antia. Perhaps you can tell us about the backpack that we see on the astronauts when they're doing a spacewalk. One of the key components of the spacesuit that doesn't get as much uh, attention but is very, very important is the portable life support system, which is usually the backpack that you see on our astronauts. What does the PLIS do? What the portable life support system does is basically how the name describes it provides life support. And so some of the key things that we need is breathing air. And so we provide oxygen to the astronauts, main portion of the spacesuit. It gets recirculated. The astronauts, like everybody on the ground, breathes out carbon dioxide. It gets back into the PLIS. What the PLIS does is it scrubs the CO2 out of the oxygen and recirculates it into the suit. So that's one of the primary functions of the PLIS. It also provides the power to the spacesuit, um, usually via battery power. Can you tell us about the lights that are on the sides? You can see kind of these headlights on either side. Um, the astronauts sometimes, uh, if they're on a dark pass of the International Space Station, it gets dark. And so instead of having like a flashlight that they can hold in their hands, we typically like to put it on either side of the helmet. What else does the PLIS, or Portable Life Support System, do? It also powers a lot of the systems that provide status of the spacesuit. So the spacesuit is constantly giving down any information to the ground or mission control in Houston on, hey, this is what the spacesuit's doing, this is what pressure it's at, this is how much breathing air remains or oxygen remains into the system. And so that gives that description, and so we do need power for all of that. Are there other functions of the PLIS besides power and oxygen? Uh, the spacesuit, uh, it has a layer inside it. Um, it's uh, called, we call it the bladder. And basically, it's almost like a balloon material. It's a urethane uh, material. And this urethane material is, by design, not supposed to breathe. It's supposed to keep all of the breathing air, all the oxygen inside the spacesuit. But as a result, when the astronauts are working, it's almost like working out in a rain jacket. You get very hot very quickly, and you start sweating. We don't want our astronauts to do that. And so we ended up putting uh, a garment on the astronauts while they're inside the spacesuit. And this garment, it has about 350 feet of tubing that is stitched throughout that. And so what the PLIS does is provide cold water through that tubing, and that tubing takes all the heat away from your skin so the astronauts are getting cooled. What part of the PLIS do you work on? What I work on specifically um, with both the EMU and the advanced spacesuit is a carbon dioxide sensor. The carbon dioxide sensor measures the amount of carbon dioxide that is going into the helmet of the astronaut or going into the main spacesuit portion of the astronaut. Carbon dioxide is a gas that we breathe out. Plants like it, uh, humans don't. And so it's very important to put the carbon dioxide sensor kind of upstream of the helmet. And upstream means it's basically in the airflow before it reaches this, the helmet so that we can know what percentages our astronauts are breathing. Now that you know about the mechanics of the PLIS, let's hear firsthand what astronauts have to say about walking in space. You and your class can learn all about the challenges of spacewalks with this unique interactive program. See if you have the right stuff. Go to the NASA Explorer School's virtual campus. Well, that's it for NASA Now. Be sure to follow us on our Facebook page. See you then on NASA Now.
NASA Now comes to you from the virtual campus at NASA Explorer Schools.